Guys, heads up. A rune golem? It's... it's massive. Huh? It's not moving. Is it dead? Now what? I have a very bad feeling about this. Weapons up.
Observe. Finished. Huh. With me, kiddo? Yes, ma'am. One punch for you! Very nice! I know where to strike. 
strike. So much for that. Experience is strength! Ah, are we there yet? Feels like we're about as far up these ruins rear end as a fella can go. Shh, did you hear that? Ha <laughs> ha! Cut you with your pants down! I know that voice. I don't know who you are supposed to be, but that's ours, and we'll be taking it back! Now! Your schmores! You stole it from the tree folk, and now I'm stealing it back! What you gonna do about it, huh? Nothing! That's what! <sighs> Kill her! Any final nuggets of cleverness you'd like to share? Uh, just one. The runes smile on me, cause I'm the luckiest girl alive! So you best skedaddle before reinforcements- Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, they're right behind you! What? It seems the luckiest girl alive has run out of fortune. Dang it! What the? Oh my gosh, look! They really are behind you! <laughs> Come now. You don't really expect me to... Lean! You in here? There! Look! Come here, you pest! I need a hostage! Uh, no! Nuh-uh! You stay back!
is this happening to me? Ugh. I don't know, but those reinforcements she wished for are coming this way. Come on, Marissa. Let's get them. You! You're the monster who attacked my village! Sorry, have we met? I've done a lot of terrible things in my day, and all the despondent faces tend to blur together. How about my face, then? Oh, I never forget a traitor. Or a tailed freak. And now I see you're wagging that disgusting appendage for the League. I should have expected no less from a half-breed. The hatred's mutual, fathead. <laughs> you bothered to chase us all this way? What dull lives you must lead. Who let a damn mask in here? If you're slinging that epithet around, you must be a guardian. Well, you can unwrinkle your scowl. We found no primal lens here. Shut up! You're nothing but a thief and a marauder. This is like multiple fated encounters all at once. That lean kid really does have luck by the short and curlies. Give it up already! You'll get no mercy from us! <laughs> As if the dregs of the League could ever defeat me! A fight, eh?
defense. Uh, Medals are right. I have to turn this around. <laughs> you will sleep where you yeah. stand. Yeah. Come on, get back in it. Oh. To sleep. Son of a. To sleep. That's it. I have to keep.
You're mine. Kobebe! What you get? Training is the friend that never betrays you. this.
get it done! Interesting. Are we there yet? I don't know. Come on, Marissa. Sorry, have how about? Oh, and now the height. <laughs> Who let a damn? If you're slick, well, shut up. This is the only. <laughs> I just hate resorting to violence. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okie doke.
Meadows and brats! I have to turn this around. Huh. Uh, lens! <laughs> against us. Ah, you will sleep. 
sleep while you stand! <laughs> you will sleep while you stand! My duty to keep getting stronger. No. How could I lose to these weaklings and a bunch of their pet animals? You're coming with us. You sullied the watch's name, and now you're gonna help us clear it. You too, Mask. Sorry, love, but the Conclave of the Dawn keeps a busy schedule, and you're not on it. No. You wouldn't dare. What's she doing? Farewell, my Imperial minion. It's been fun. As for you, my young guardian, well, I feel certain we will meet again. No! Stop! That slimy two-faced traitor! <laughs> Looks like you'll be facing the music alone, mate. March, brigand! Hop, hop, hop! What's wrong, Kalthor? I feel as if someone calls to me. What do you mean? I, I am not certain. It's not a voice, more a feeling. of proven verdure. I thought Lean ran off with that. Uh, unless this is a different one. Maybe the Barrows were waiting for you. Waiting? We Guardians believe every Barrows is waiting for the right someone at the right time. In this case, I think that might be you. And it's a guardian's duty to protect the Barrows until that crucial moment. Waiting. 
So they were waiting for me insane too? What do you mean you got the rune back? That girl had it when she emerged from the Proving Grounds. Lean? Well, I'm glad she's all right. Although I kind of figured as much, honestly. Then what is this rune I have? Come closer, Kalathor. Treefolk believe it is right to cherish the old and cling fast to traditions of yore. The Dendriarch believes that is why this rune was bestowed on you, for you are drawn to the outside world and all things new. You alone can lead the Treefolk down a different path. But how can... Old things can be good or ill, just as new things can be good or ill. But you never know what you have until you experience what is missing. The Dendriarch wishes you to venture into the great unknown, so we might all cherish the old that much better. Then I am permitted to leave. It is what he desires, yes. All right. You saved me, the Dendriarch, and all the tree folk, and I am ever so grateful. Do you think I might come with you? I would like to help. I like that, Kalthor. So, what about Lean? <gasps> Lean! Is she still here? I was wondering why we haven't seen her. I about that. After returning the rune to the Dendriarch, she took off in quite the rush, said something about having big things to do. Uh. <sighs> well, maybe we should return to our village. Lean might try and make her way there. If I see her, Noah, I'll tell her to seek you out. That's what you want, right? If you wouldn't mind. Stop! Who are you? Where did you come from? Another raider! What? I didn't expect to find you here. Talk about your crazy luck.
The spy Hurstwine is enjoying the comforts of one of our cells. Now I would hear from you, Sabine. If you're safe, I trust the Lady Periel is as well. You don't gotta worry. Me, the Lady, and that butler fellow went east before crossing the desert south into Eucharist. Periel said she's on friendly terms with their king, and that he'd help her out. But I thought we agreed to meet here. The lady said you and Emir could hold down the fort, which gave her a chance to, and I quote, take the initiative. <laughs> Sounds like her, all right. Ah, <sighs> yes. It most certainly does. Thing is, while we made it to you, Chris, the negotiations ain't going so hot. So, she sent me here to fetch a little help. You crossed the Great Wood by yourself. Madness. Well, we live in mad times. Also, I had a little help from someone in you, Chris, who knows the route. King Yuma Shirith and Lady Periel have known each other since they were children. But though you, Chris, was the first nation we reached out to before the Battle of Eltisvice, reinforcements never arrived. Near as I can tell, the Yuma kid wants to help. But he ain't the most forceful sort and he's surrounded by nervous pillow-sitters who don't want to get on the Empire's bad side. What?! They're playing nice with the jerk faces who invaded Altusvice?! The Empire has been selling a different story. They claim the invasion was in response to border violations committed by House Groom. Besides, the League of Nations is hardly a monolith. Just a bunch of little fish all looking out for number one. Regardless, Perry's counting on us, so we should head for you, Chris. Perry? Perry? Uh, I mean, Periel. You know, the lady? Lady Periel? Better. I can show you the way. Won't even gripe about how I just got back from the place. But first, we need to pop by the Tree Folk Village. Oh, oh, pick me! You gotta pick me! I'll smack some sense into those Empire loving dummies. Hi, yup! Would the provisional leader and oh fantastic captain be so kind as to select the rest of his traveling companions? What do we dig up this time, eh? Concerned as I am, I'd best stay and manage things here. Can I trust you to look after our benefactor? Her ladyship, Countess Periel. Got it. Thank you. And yes.